Welcome to the Monday Monologue. And you're probably going, hey, what is this amplifier chassis? That looks really cool. Well, this is a collaboration with a viewer who wanted to build the Ultimate 300D amp, which he is getting the ISO Tango Power Transformer, Tango Choke, the FC30 Output Transformers. It's getting the full boat, silver wire, all that deal on the inside. And when we started talking about the chassis, he wanted to build it himself. And so I sent him one of these blank plates to use to fabricate up the chassis. And he did a really cool job. I think this is an awesome looking chassis. And he did this like mother of pearl inlay, little joker on the front. It's got script burned lettering into it, the wood parts and stuff. And it's just a beautiful chassis. And the really cool thing, and I, I didn't even realize this when I was looking at it, these pieces of aluminum that are in the corners, they've been in outer space. They came from some NASA program, which that's really cool. And this is some sort of really expensive Hawaiian wood that you can't buy anymore. I'll put it up here what the name of this stuff is, but you can only get like stuff that was, you know, harvested decades ago. And so this is a really expensive chassis that would take to make one duplicating this. And not really what I'm shooting for on my bills is exactly this. I probably wouldn't do these little aluminum corner things and we may do a little different, but I want to start building more stuff like this and partnering with some woodworker folks and just making some really pretty amplifiers. Like I know this black powder coated or this is actually just Krylon textured black on an aluminum chassis. I know those are functional and they sound good, but I want to start doing some more really aesthetically pleasing kind of stuff. And I did this whole set with a KT120 mono amps with a color preamp that looks like this. And if you want to see what some of this stuff sounds like, I know people have begged me to put, you know, music or, you know, demos on my YouTube videos. And so many people now are getting copyright strikes and their channels are getting demonetized or any videos that have any music at all playing in them, you have to demonetize the videos, which defeats one of the reasons I do YouTube videos is to make a little income so that I can afford to do fun projects like this. And we'll get into that in a minute. But I do put them on my Facebook page that's associated with the channel. And I'll put the link below and occasionally upload like a tape or some vinyl or... I just recently uploaded playing some Kenny Burrell with the KT120 mono amps. And I'm not trying to do some super high quality deal. It's just the microphone on my phone. It just is what it is. So you guys that want to hear some demo stuff, there you go. Go watch, look at my Facebook page. Anyway, so the reason I was going to go into this today is... I want to talk about like where I'm at with my business production and all that kind of stuff and kind of what's going on there. And I've gotten way behind on orders. I promised that KT120 set would be done before the end of the year and we're into the first week of January, which I don't guess is too bad, but I also promised that this will be done before the end of the year. Now, the owner of this did take a lot longer to build the chassis than we thought and so I don't feel too bad about this but I've got somebody put a down payment on the 300B mono blocks that I was talking about building that I've got the parts here to do that I need to build and he's patiently waiting and I've got somebody else that's ordered a 2A3 I've got two color preamps on order and yeah I need to just kind of stop doing new orders until I figure out like 
getting caught up in what that looks like. And I'm going to finish that basic 300B model that I, you know, or the low cost 300B amp that we started a project. But I've decided that's not a product that I want to make and sell. And I think I need to kind of standardize on here is the stuff that I sell. And one of them is going to be the EL34 amp may upgrade the front end or, or do a different front end design. I haven't really thought about all that, but I want to do some work on my EL34 amp and sell it with those musical power supplies, transformers, and that's it. You, you just get it like that, and that's the way it comes. And it comes with volume control, etc. It just, it is made the way it is. And then if you want to step up to something better, rather than make a deluxe version of that, you buy the 2A3. And it's a little less power, maybe a couple of watts less power, but it is a better sounding amp. And with those Hey Boo transformers and all that stuff, just build it like that. And that's the way it's going to come. There's not going to be all these upgrade paths and different things on the standard models that are going to be made in the metal powder coated chassis because I want to standardize those chassis so that they can all get fabricated in one thing and I just go get the chassis fabbed, take them to the powder coater and then build them and I don't have to have like well this is kind of mostly done but then I got to drill all the holes for the transformers and how many speaker jacks is it going to have and all that stuff it just comes one way and that way I can get the complete chassis fabricated without like different options of transformers and then I'm over here on my drill press doing that mess after they've been powder coated to try to make it whatever the customer wants to order and like I talked about last week I did that for a customer trying to like make it fit his scenario and the amp ended up not sounding good and I know what formulas and what parts together sound good and what they need and what they don't need for that kind of level of performance. And then after the 2A3, I'm going to make a 300B amp. The only way it's going to come is with ISO Tango transformers, the FC30s. If I'm going to build a 300B amp, it's going to be a good sounding 300B amp. And I'm not going to cripple it putting lower performance transformers on it trying to meet a price point. There's no point in me building an amplifier that's going to sound the same as a Rysong A50. If you, if you don't have the money to buy one of my 300B amps, then go buy one of those China things and just live with what it is. And I don't think that's the market that I want to target. And, you know, I know some folks are limited on their budgets and hey that's just life i mean we've all have to make concessions i'd love to go buy a you know new twenty thousand dollar revox tape deck but i don't have 20 grand to drop on a tape deck and so i'm messing with this with a task cam that i paid 600 bucks for trying to get something that sounds good and that's what diy is all about and I'm going to continue to build projects that may be things that I'm not actually selling. And so there are some things that are going to be on the channel that you can't buy from me. It's like, here's what I have for sale, but here's some of the other cool stuff. And if you want that other cool stuff, you're going to have to DIY it. And I feel like I'm already doing a lot for the DIY community, putting together schematics and bombs and project videos and stuff and it's all free i'm not charging that's all no cost to you and so you know if you are going to buy something it needs to be something that i'm proud to put my brand on and i don't have to worry about you emailing me back in a week and say yeah this doesn't really sound like i was expecting because i know it's going to sound good and i know when i talk to people hey, don't buy you know you're wanting something more than the CL34 amp. You're wanting a 300B top shelf amp for the price of this EL34 amp. 
And that's just not going to happen. And people need to understand that. And maybe I just need to be more clear about that. But anyway, so for now, I do have some photo stages for sale. And, you know, if you email me about doing a project, just realize it might be the middle of the summer before I can even get started on it. Because I really need to get caught up on some stuff. And I want to do some stuff for myself that I think is fun. Like, I want to play around with these XLR transformers and see what doing that, you know, putting balanced inputs on one of these preamps sounds like and if it works good. And then I want to play with this tape head stuff. The other thing that I was disappointed that I wasn't able to do something more with those KT120 tubes and you know that the, these new production ones in my honest opinion are defective you can't buy some at the rated watts of dissipation watts of dissipation means it can dissipate that many watts without going nuclear and they can't they don't meet their own specs and so i can't design i mean they work okay in a push pull amp but you can't use them in a single ended amp and so I'm not going to, you know, build a production amp that has to have the tubes handpicked. But I do want to build a high-powered single-ended amp. And I'm going to be working on the EML520. I think it's the version 4 of that tube that has a center-tapped heater. And I've also got some FC40 transformers that can deal with the current and that amp should make around 20 to 22 watts of power single-ended and it's just off the shelf parts you don't have to wonder if they're going to work and it's a direct heated triode so it should sound freaking amazing and that's something that i want to work on and could be something that's for sale in the future again i'm up for doing some of these custom jobs like this fabric getting the chassis fabricated and stuff but obviously it's more money when we're doing these one-off fabs you know where i'm having to get somebody to do the cad work and then get these plates machined up and then taking them over and having them anodized and then engraved and all that stuff it just gets expensive and so you know it's fun projects to do but just realize it's not going to be cheap and so, yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be doing this year. And I do have some push-pull differential lamps I want to build. I've got just, I've got a million projects in my head. I just got to come up with times to do it. But I do need to do some customer projects for me to be able to afford to do the other stuff that I do. Because I've kind of, I mean, I'm basically on a fixed income kind of a thing. I don't have an unlimited budget, and so I have to use the income from, you know, the YouTube channel it doesn't make a lot of money, honestly. it's It makes something, but it's not what people think, not at the level that I'm at. If I had millions of views, it might be a different story, but I don't. So most of the income comes from either selling stuff or donations, that sort of thing, and so... I do need to take care of my customers, but I don't want that to overwhelm my interest in the hobby and make this not fun and turn it into a job. And so I'm going to be kind of limiting what I take on this year. I do want to go to the audio shows and just have some fun. And I know people have said, you know, why don't you hire some people to build stuff for you? And what? it's like, I just, I'm, I'm supposed to be retired. And I'm not really interested in starting some factory manufacturing stuff. And I definitely am not going to, like, have somebody in China making this stuff for me. So, here we are. And it must be something fairly cool because it's got quite a few people that watch my channel. So, thanks for that. Hope you're enjoying the video. Hope you're enjoying this channel. If you are, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Hopefully you get to 25K subs by the summer, maybe 30K. That would be cool. Eventually, I'd like to get to 100K and get one of those YouTube plaques. That would be awesome. But 
hey, it's a pretty niche market, so we'll just see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for the Monday Monologue.